Welcome back, poets. It's the month of November, and I'm your anchor, Andrew Tejada. And I'm Victoria Esker. Have you ever wondered how safe our campus really is? Let's take it to Salorm to find out. A student ID card. One of these can grant you access into offices, the CI, and various residence halls all over campus. But if you take a look around, it's clear that Whittier College is not a gated community, and almost anyone can find their way onto campus. Just last Sunday, two women were arrested outside of Turner Dormitory Hall, and various other students recall seeing strangers looking around campus these past months. So let's take a look at what some poets have to say about how safe our campus really is. Okay, so uh, my roommate, she is a tr she runs her track, and she was working out up in the track, and like there was uh, some weird guy there, and, like, and he kept on asking her these really weird questions, like what was her name, and like what like what year she was in college, and she just felt really uncomfortable. Yeah, one time in the lounge, there was a man, and he was he had a market bag with him and some soup and he was just eating some soup and crackers in the lounge and he was there for the longest time and I had no idea who he was so I called Campo and Campo like talked to him and t got his ID and everything and they made him leave. Um, one time I was coming home from a party on the weekend and I was walking down my dorm and there was this tall big um, he's really buff guy walking down towards me and um, he had called me a curse word and I didn't really think too much of it, but I just kind of figured he didn't really belong in the dorms. So I opened my dorm, ran in and closed it, and I heard him like run out the door and slam it open. And I, last thing I know, he was walking down, um, down Painter. All of these students' stories are concerning, but as poets, we have to remember one thing. The safety of our campus is all of our responsibilities. So we have to remember to lock our doors and watch each other's backs. This has been Salorm Kaplani with QCTV. You've seen them around campus, you've seen them rep in their blue, and now they're bringing back wet and wild. This month, the Metaphonian Society is a poet spotlight. What's true blue and back on campus? The Metaphonian Society. After being reinstated, they're back and they're ready to take charge. I sat down with some of the active misses. Let's check it out. I'm really excited to be back this year. I'm really excited to show the school what Mets are about and show them how close my sisters and I are. I'm just overjoyed that we are back. Um, it definitely was not easy at times, but it was a learning experience for all of us. We, I can't wait, we can't wait to just share our love for this society with the whole entire campus. I'm really excited, you know, me and my sisters, we've been through a lot. And, you know, I think we've really come together as a collective group. They're not wasting any time being back. Wet n Wild is their first event of the year. Girls in bikinis and boys in beach attire. Yes. See that? You did. The misses let us know what's new and what to expect. DJ, light shows, bubbles and foam going everywhere. Red Bull sponsoring it. So, you know, that kind of hypes up the energy, too. We do have a different bowl this year, but I think it's still, it's still going to be the same as well. So it's definitely, I think, if anything, it's going to be better. Get ready for the Met Momentum, poets. I'm Jordan Robledo. Now back to you guys in the studio. Along with Wet n Wild are several other upcoming events happening this month for you poets to get excited about. We have Thalian Rush, November 3rd, Pen Rush, November 4th, Taming of the Shrew opening November 7th, Saxon Rush, November 10th, Athenian Rush, November 11th, Franklin Rush, November 11th, Sports Fest Weekend, November 16th through the 18th, and Blackout on November 30th. So get ready, poets! Well, that's it for this month's Anchor episode. Make sure to tune in here next week for a brand new episode of Mock Talk. And while you're at it, pick up a QC around campus. Well, until next time, I'm Andrew Tejada. And I'm Victoria Esker. Thanks for watching.